Hey everyone, I'd like to show you how to extract a subject from a green screen background. So the video in the upper left here, this is our original footage. And the video just down here is one where I extracted the person from the background and then just threw in some different backgrounds to taste. Okay, so let's dive in. Let's open up After Effects. And then from within my project panel just here, I'm going to double click and import that green screen footage and then just drag it down to the timeline to create a new composition. So here we are, new composition, here's my footage. And then the first thing we need to do is go over to our effects and presets panel. Up under window, you can find that effects and presets panel just there if you can't see it. And over here, we're gonna type in the word key. Now I'm not actually looking for one specific effect. I'm actually looking for this thing just down here it's under Animation Presets, Presets, Image Utilities. It's Key Light plus Key Cleaner plus Advanced Spill Suppressor. And if I drag that onto the footage, the Effect Controls panel has jumped to life over here. And if I just twirl this one down, you can see three effects have indeed been added. And the first two are on by default, and the third one is not. So we'll go through these um, in succession. But again, guys, this is a quick and nasty example of how to do a green screen, okay? This is just getting you started. I'm sure there's some experts out there that will be disgusted by this tutorial, but remember, this is just to get you started. We're gonna ignore the vast majority of the settings. So, we twirl open the key light option just here, and the first thing we're gonna go and do is grab our screen color eyedropper tool just here, and then sample a color of green just near our subject. So I'll just click up here, and fantastic, this has already done a great job getting things started. At the bottom of the uh, bottom of the composition panel just here, we have this little button just here, toggle transparency grid. If I turn that on and off a couple of times, that just gives us a good idea. Of course, the uh, checkerboard pattern in the world of Adobe is transparency. So we've sampled the green. Now what's going on here is that Keylight is effectively generating a mask, a mask that separates the subject from the background. And we can actually see that mask, actually it's referred to here as a mat, if we go up under the view section just here, which currently reads as intermediate result, and we change that to screen mat. So in the world of Adobe, of course, guys, white reveals and black conceals when it comes to masks. So ideally, we're trying to create a perfectly white subject against a perfectly black background. And if you zoom in, when you have um, fuzzy areas like here, you will, of course, get shades of gray between white and black, that is. Okay, so how can we actually adjust this mat? Well, what we do is we come down to this section just here called screen mat. Let's roll that open. Again, lots of options, but let's keep this nice and simple. We're just going to play with clip black and clip white. So you can see if I play with this clip black slider, it's actually changing the black areas or the dark gray areas into black just outside our subject. So um, I'm playing with this with the mouse just now, but you can also click inside of here and use your up and down arrow keys to move this up and down. And 25 is looking pretty good here. Uh, actually guys, let me push this to the extreme for a second here. I'll show you if I push this all the way to a much higher value, you can see the black starts to encroach onto the subject. And also we start to get some weird things going on around the edge. So you're trying to push this number basically as high as possible to get yourself a nice black background without messing up your subject. So again, having played with this ahead of time, I found 25 looks pretty good. Should also point out guys, that value of 25 does a great job of making the background black, but it doesn't quite pick up these corners just here. But that can be very easily fixed with a mask, which I'll show you at the very end. Okay, so the black areas are looking good. We need to fix up the white areas. So we're going to clip white. Same as before, if we drag this all the way down, you're gonna to start to get some weird things. It'll even flip at some point here. But you can see we don't want these really crunchy edges along here. So again, having played ahead of time, I found a value of 90 looks pretty good just here. So 25 for black and 90 for white. Okay, so that's looking great. If we come back up to the view section here inside of our effect for key light and change this back to intermediate result, there's our result. I'll toggle the transparency. This is looking fantastic. So aside from a little bit of a green glow around her hair, we are almost done at this point, guys. So. Uh, key light, I'm just going to twirl that closed. Key cleaner, there are some things in here which we can play with, but we're not going to in this example. Now, advanced spill suppressor, this is the last step in our extraction just here. 
So keep an eye on this green glow around her hair because just now I'm going to turn this on and check it out. Bit of magic just there, guys. I'm going to turn this off and on again. What an amazing result. And if I look against the transparency, what a fantastic job that has done around the hair. So let me uh, actually just recreate the example I showed you earlier. I'll just add a couple of quick solid, uh, quick solids for the uh, the background just here. So layer new solid. Let's just add a white. Drag that to the bottom. Layer new solid, and let's add that uh, bright pink color. And then I'll just grab my uh, pen tool and just do a quick little mask around that, like so. And then you can see if I drag through here on the timeline, just give that a second to catch up here. Look at that, what a fantastic job that's done extracting the subject from the background. So we're pretty much done at this point, guys, but I wanted to show you, remember that problem area we had with the corner just down there? And just reminding you why that actually happened. If I click on my green screen footage just here, open up key light again, and if we go and look at the mask, or the mat, so it's the screen mat. Remember we had that problem where I wasn't quite getting rid of that uh, all the way down there, forcing it into the black? Well, let's put this back to intermediate results. The quick and easy way to fix that is just with, again, with our um, footage selected, if I just come up and grab the rectangle tool, and if I just draw a rectangle around here, this will create a mask which you can see has appeared just here. So if I zoom into that corner just now, the footage looks fine, but if I temporarily disable the mask by changing this add to a none, you can see there's the spot just there. But again, if I flick that back to add, which it is by default, it disappears. So again, guys, just by throwing in a uh, garbage mat at the end just there, uh, we're able to uh, get rid of those little problem areas on the corner. So that's it there, guys. I hope that helps. Catch you later.